Did you ever have that thing from your childhood, that nostalgic thing that was just your world that you loved? Well, this was that thing for me. I had three nostalgic things. I had three things in my life in the 80s that were my whole world. Garbage Pail Kids, Transformers, and Ninja Turtles. And I drew Ninja Turtles nonstop. I remember my sister saying to me one day, what are you gonna draw when Ninja Turtles go out of style? I'll never forget that question. It completely blew my mind. Anyway, sculpting this in Nomad Sculpt has been a dream come true. 10 year old Dave is really super excited right now about this Ninja Turtle. I'm gonna make all of them, but this is the first one. It was gonna be Donatello, but it kind of turned into Leonardo. So I just had to go with it. All right, enjoy. I've actually been thinking about creating this Ninja Turtle for so long. Uh, I started doing some sketches a few weeks ago and I really wanted to sculpt one, but it's just, it's really scary. I mean, I've only been using this app for about a year. I started last March and I've learned a lot, but something like this is just, it's so exciting to me. It's so iconic to me. It's so nostalgic. That's like, I want to get it right. And I want to, if I'm going to do it, I know I'm going to go all out. I knew I would just, not do anything else in my life until I got it finished and uh, obviously I did it live that makes it really that makes it a lot easier for me to do really long uh, projects like this that I'm afraid of because when I do it live it's like I can just I can I can go live and then I can go and um, people are kind of there and talking to me and I'm, I can concentrate but it just makes it a little bit I don't know I just like showing that journey it kind of helps me and I learned so much about sculpting uh, with this one using the tube there for like muscles and things like that. That was a big help. Uh, sculpting feet, sculpting the shells. There's so much problem solving that goes on that that's where I really learn a lot about this program is just trying to do things that I do in 2D and just try to th think three-dimensional about them. Here I'm doing the, the shell and the head. The head, was, the head shape was kind of difficult. It just takes me a while to sort of uh, be able to get to the shapes that I want in my head. Uh, those eyes look terrible in, in, in the beginning. But I mean, every step of this was, was really, really fun, especially when it started to come together and looking like something. It's really exciting. This is the knot. I just kind of made made that up. And I always love when they have their head their uh, headbands coming down the front. So of course I had to do that. Uh, it'd be nice to make make it blowing in the wind, but I have to do the other three, so. Uh, this one, I was doing the, the bands a few different ways, the, uh, the arm bands and, and knee pads and stuff like that. But I think Sfi I think Taurus was the best, wound up looking the best rather than a cylinder. Uh, and here's his, his swords. And yeah, this is, it was originally going to be Leo. You can see in the, on the uh, reference, it's actually Donatello. But this was basically just for the shape. And then I just loved doing different colors and making it a completely black. I still don't know, was there a black Ninja Turtle like in one of the comic books? Or is that just make-believe? I could have sworn that one of the comic books there was like a black Ninja Turtle. Like, not even like, I don't mean, mean like an African-American black, just like a black Ninja Turtle. Like it was black, all black. I don't know, maybe I just made it up. But I know their skin's slightly, slightly different, but once I get to this point, it's just having fun. And uh, I really, really, I really, really loved it. I can't wait to start drawing or start making the other ones. I don't know what pose I'm gonna do the other ones in, but I mean, I'm, I'm excited to do them. It's gonna take a long time, but uh, I'm excited. I'm really happy with Leo. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate you guys coming by and I appreciate those who watch the lives. Uh, you guys like keep me going, you keep me motivated and you know, it's really fun creating amazing art with you guys.